All right, welcome. I'm going to show you how to use Kanzia. It's a application where you can um, basically leave, like on a Google Doc, you can leave different um, voice voice notes according to, um, based on what you highlight in someone's doc. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to two-finger click on a Mac on Delaney Ashley Mulder's, um document that she just sent me today um, because she's not going to be here Friday. So I open it up. And or I two finger click on it, and I click open with, and you slide over here, and you click Kanzia. I don't think you have to have it pre-downloaded. I think it's already it already is, but it looks like this little voice document. You click it, it opens up into it opens her document up into a completely different thing. And I had a comment that I wanted to leave for, her. and so what I did was all I did was highlight highlight um, this um, letter that she wrote. It was an assignment that's due Friday, and she can't be here, so she so what I did was I highlighted this. And I had a question about it. And she talks about these fearsome sea monsters. Well, I wanted her to explain more, and I just wanted to try a voice one out because it's easier. The kids can hear it really quick with headphones in, and she's going to be in a place where she can't. Um, it has to be quiet, I guess, for some reason. So I highlighted this, and um, then I clicked, or I clicked the voice button. I highlighted it, and then she, and then I recorded my voice, and now she can um, click in here. And once I click it, I clicked my receiver over here. I click her name, and so let's say I want to do this one. Let's say this, I, I have a question about this right here. So I highlight it, and I click the thing, and then I click record, and I say, hey, Delaney, maybe you can um, kind of expand on that sentence right there a little bit more. I don't really understand what you mean by that. Do you think you could um, either come ask me or try to rephrase that sentence to make it sound better? And then I just click stop. And then I can play it back to myself if I want to, or I can redo it, and it tells me how long my it took. And then I click done. And then when I click done, um, click on this thing here, and I click the little thing, and it tells me how long. Um, I look at that, and then send feedback to Delaney. I want to send that via comment. Okay. And so... Now it's already been done, and I had to um, earlier. You only have to do this once with the same document, but I clicked Delaney Ashley Molitor right here for the receiver. And when I clicked it, it asked me to um, do I want to send an email to her or do I just want to have a comment on her document? And I don't want to send her a, an email, it's annoying. I just want it on my document. So if I go back in here to my shared thing just to see if it worked to show you guys, I click into her document. It gave me a little, um, like a, a note thing that showed me to go over here to comments, click on it, and this is my first one that I made, and here's my second one. So um, when she opens it up, she'll click this real quick, and it'll open up into Kanzia. It might ask her to download the the app. It's supposed to be preloaded, but I don't know if that's how it works. But um, she just clicks the link, and it takes her. It opens the document up in Kanzia, and she gets to listen to all the voice things that. Um, that I created for, and then she can go back and check those out. So just one of these cool little features. It's not—I don't know if it's an app or not, but one of these cool little features that I kind of found out. And um, if you want to try it out, it's kind of a neat way to, you know, check things. You could do this for math, I suppose. If you had a, an online worksheet they were working on, and you say, go back and you know check your work for this, or in science, hey, um, this research right here, I don't want you to use Wikipedia. Please cite something different, or things like that. So. There is a little to my tutorial on how to use Kanzia. Thanks.